water signs what's going on babies cancer scorpio and pisces how you guys feeling welcome back those of you that's returning i'm so happy to have you back here with me and welcome if you are deciding to tap in for the first time oh water signs look at you look at you cancer cancer is right here as soon as i cut the deck what's up water signs cancer scorpio and pisces this is specially for you okay this is especially for you this is for sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, water placements. If you have water in any of the placements I just named, then this message may resonate with you. Please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. This is a general reading, not a personal, so everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Just because you're a water sign, baby, or you have strong water placements, doesn't mean that everything you hear is going to resonate with you. This is a general collective reading for water signs okay just get in where you fit in apply the roles as you see fit keep in mind we all have masculine and feminine energy apply the genders as you see fit as well my readings are all inclusive doesn't matter if you are in same sex connections it does not matter he she they however you identify baby if the message fits if it resonates then it is for you all right i love you guys thank you guys so much for all the likes comments shares and subscribes and donations I see it all. I appreciate it all. Earth signs, let's get into your next 48. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, Taurus, and Cappy, Capricorn? Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node placements. What is it that they need to know in regards to the next 48 hours? Okay, I'm sorry that I'm calling y'all Earth signs. Why did I do that? This is for water signs. Please excuse me water signs please accept my apology i know that i'm talking to you guys that came out of nowhere so some of you could be dealing with earth signs some of you could have earth signs that's popping up on you if you're connected to an earth sign this person could just be popping up out of nowhere trying to get back in good with you trying to hit you up it is mercury retrograde right now so for some of you water signs Maybe there's an earth sign from your past, somebody that you could have had a brief encounter with, some sort of fling with. Others of you, this could have been somebody you had a full-blown relationship with. But I'm telling you, for some of you, there's an earth sign that's just trying to pop up on you. They're just trying to get back in good. It's like they're hitting you up. They're coming out of nowhere. It's like, where the fuck you come from? Okay, water signs. Some of y'all dealing with earth signs that's doing that. This person just trying to pop up on you. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini that's just trying to pop up on you. Okay? Yeah. That's what I'm getting, okay? But this is for my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, okay? Please forgive me for that, okay? Please forgive me for calling out earth signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for them regarding the next 48 hours? But yeah, some of y'all got an earth sign that's just trying to interfere, okay? This person's just trying to get into your energy, all right, we got an Ace of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they could have an offer for you. But this is somebody that could be getting some sort of karma right now. Be mindful of dirty offers, water signs. Be mindful of somebody wanting to make an offer, but they hide and shit from you. They keep in secrets, okay? Don't just jump the gun. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Read the fine print. Be mindful of cert uh, signing certain contracts during this time, okay? That's also another thing that I'm hearing. All right, somebody here is just trying to get in good with you because shit hitting a fan in their life, okay? Shit is hitting a fan in somebody's life and they just trying to get in good with you because you stable, you stable. And whoever you are, it's like you have favor and you have protection. Favor and protection follows you wherever you are. You're anointed. I'm hearing you're chosen for some of you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you are one of God's favorite. Understand that. Understand that. And whoever this person is, they're very hateful. This person don't have God in their life for real, for real. They really don't. This King of Swords in reverse, this is somebody that's hateful. They're a liar. This is somebody that's very cold, very detached. Yeah, they're a fucking liar. This is this is a, a pathological liar right here. Mm-hmm. That's how they're showing up. Somebody that's a pathological fucking liar. This person has a problem with telling the truth. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Pisces. They could have that in a chart. Somebody here has a problem with lying. Yes. All they do is lie. All they do is lie and, and, and breadcrumb people. They make promises that they don't keep. 
That's what I'm hearing. And this is somebody that y'all could have just stopped talking to. What a sign you was like, you know what? Fuck out of here. Like, I'm done with you. Some of y'all could be building a home, building a family with somebody. You could be connected to a Virgo or a Taurus. Congratulations to those of you that got your person. You building a family, you building a home, you building a life with this person. Whoever this past person is that thought you was about to cheat on your person or thought you was about to allow them to juggle you with somebody else, that shit is over. That shit is clipped. The world call. You brought that shit to an end. And this person been talking hella shit about you ever since. Some of y'all got a fake ass friend or a family member that's very jealous of you that's out here talking shit as well. Some of y'all got a karmic ex and a family member that been talking behind your back and they just been spreading rumors. They both jealous of you. They both hateful. Your karmic ex and this family member are both jealous, both hateful, low vibrational. These two people could even slept together, whether you whether you know it or not. Some of y'all got a karmic ex that actually slept with one of your family members. I feel like you don't give a fuck. If you do already know about this, you don't care. Your wishes is coming true. You don't give a fuck about what this emperor in the reverse is doing. And you don't give a fuck about what they doing with this queen of wands in the reverse, this queen of swords reverse. They both whores and they both getting bad karma. Both of them. This karmic ex of yours is getting karma, and so is this hoe that they slept with. And for some of you, this could be your own sister, your your niece, your aunt, your cousin. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, whoever this is, she's a distorted feminine, very argumentative, very loud, classless, promiscuous, angry. You know, this is somebody that gossips a lot. They are classless. This is somebody that is just, oh, their energy is disgusting. She's dirty. Whoever she is, she sleep with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? This woman don't have no fucking coof. Like, it's like anybody can anybody can get some. And this emperor in the reverse definitely took their chance. They took their shot at her. And for others of you, if this is not an ex and your family member, then this is just some this is somebody that you used to deal with. And this is just some sleaze ball that they was hitting. You know, this is some sleaze ball that they was that they was busting down from time to time. And they both out here talking shit, lying about you. You know, lying on you, gossiping about you to other people, anybody that would listen to them. Whoever these people are, whoever this man is, whoever this woman is, this person could just be mad because you stopped talking to them, border signs. This is somebody that y'all have cut the fuck off. Y'all could have blocked this person and they never stopped watching you. It's like they was obsessed with you after you cut them off. After you, They was obsessed with you while you was in their life. Even though they could have did you wrong, they were still obsessed with you and, and secretly competing or jealous of you, right? And it's like once you actually sever ties with this person and you stop communicating with them, they just obsessively watched you. They never stopped watching you. They never stopped stalking you, okay? This is an injustice here. This person could have stole something from y'all as well or they tried to steal something from y'all. If this person took some sort of action against you to steal something, take something of yours, this person got legal issues now. They not getting away with this shit. This person is going to have some sort of legal issues that come up here for stealing from you. Because whoever you are, water signs, you're showing up as an earth angel. That's how y'all showing up in this reading. Okay? You're showing up as someone that's very divine. Someone that's heavily protected. Someone that God keeps close. Whoever these people are, they face in poverty now. This could even be your child's father for some of you. Okay? But whoever this man is, he could be needing a place to stay. Or money is tight right now. Money funny, credit can't get it. Okay? He could be needing a move. Somebody he could be getting put out of a house. All types of shit is happening in this person's life. And if they slept with this family member, trust and believe this family member going through it too. Them and whoever this Queen of Wands in the reverse is, this Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, this the karmic, the sort of feminine, they both getting their asses whooped. And whoever you are, water signs, you know this. It's something here about you knowing which is making them even more mad. Because they could be trying to hide from you what they're going through. But it's like you already know. And then on top of that, to add more salt to the wound, you don't give a fuck. Like somebody here thought you was going to be hurt. Somebody here thought you was going to be pressed about this information. They was trying to hide it from you. And then once you found out, they said, okay, well, at least you're going to be mad. You're going to be hurt. And it's like, no, you don't care. You don't expect nothing more from neither one of these clowns. They sending you the evil eye. They sending you the evil eye. And they just keep ruining their lives more and more. Because ain't shit changing in yours. If anything's changing, it's changing for the better. You elevating. Chariot, four wands, ten of cups. Some of you could be buying a home or you could have recently bought a home. Some of you could have moved or you could be in the process of moving. But this is you building a life for yourself. Having your dream home or establishing a, a really beautiful life for yourself. Like you are well established, well taken care of. You handle your fucking biz, whoever you are, water signs. You handle your business. You really do. 
and your dreams are coming true. Some of you could be building connections with people. For some of you, you could be in a same-sex connection or there's somebody of the same sex that is interested in you. This person could be a water sign like you as well. Okay? Or somebody here could be a Virgo. They could have Virgo or Taurus in their chart. But I'm telling you, you're going to be building a connection with somebody. And whoever this opportunist is, this King of Pentacles reverse, this Emperor reverse, this fucking clown here, this person could be very money-hungry, very much so in their ego, very prideful, very stubborn, very materialistic, a show-off. This is somebody that likes to, you know, throw jabs too. Like whoever this is, they got a foul fucking mouth. Like this motherfucker just be saying slick shit. You know what I'm saying? Make you want to run your fist through his fucking face. Run, run. Whoever this is, this motherfucker make you want to run your fist through his shit. Okay? This is somebody that you could have really had to like tame yourself with. Because it's like, yo, who you talking to? You know what I'm saying? Like you could have really wanted to run your fist through his shit. I'm telling you. Because he, something about this man, he just a jackass. Like he just say shit purposely to get under people's skin. Whoever this dumb motherfucker is, he's depressed and he's heartbroken now. He's sad. He heavily burdened and weighed down because you independent. You living freely. You happy. You in this three of cups. I knew you was a fucking empress. I knew your ass was an empress. This person is mad because you and your empress energy. You celebrating. You happy. You independent. Life is good. It keep getting better and better. This, this motherfucker could be a Capricorn or he could have strong Capricorn in his chart. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, an Aries, a Virgo, a Taurus. They could have that in their chart. This person is angry because they thought you was going to come back to them or they thought they could come back to you. This person actually needs you because they're going through some financial hardships right now. And whoever you are, water signs, you don't have those problems. This person sleep around. They promiscuous. They just as bad as this queen of wands in the reverse. So whoever this is, this friend, this family member, or whoever the fuck they slept with and betrayed you, um, you know, betrayed you with, they both... Are nasty. Both of these people sleep around a lot. Two fucking peas in a pod. God caught judgment in this situation. You good, water signs? You like, yo, I don't give a fuck. Like, you really don't care. Nine of Pentacles and a Nine of, of Cups. And you shouldn't care. Because this shit is b beneath you. You are above this shit. You know what I'm saying? You too good for this shit. You going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This person is big mad. Somebody here could be a Leo, a Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus and Aries, they have that in a chart. Yeah, somebody here could be a fire sign or an earth sign. Strong Capricorn and Leo here in Aries. But I'm telling you, somebody here mad. Okay. Somebody here just just upset. Like some it's like it's almost like somebody here just want their days to like be shorter and just end. Like somebody here is so fucking depressed, y'all. It don't make no sense. It's like your happiness is like causing this person to like feel like they need to check it's like somebody here can't watch you be happy and it's like well then motherfucker then don't look but then it's like this person can't stop watching it's like they're making themselves hurt more than they need to because they just keep stalking you they keep watching you behind the scenes this person is seeing you in the star energy some of y'all could be being celebrated during this time maybe some of you are even in the public eye okay or you about to be but you somebody that gets a lot of attention. I feel like a lot of people fuck with you. They like you. They love you. Whatever it is that you offer, whatever it is that you promote, bring to the table, people fuck with it. Okay? The star, the six of wands, the ace of wands. Some of y'all got a new beginning or a new career that's going to put you in a position of power, that's going to put you in this leadership role if you're not already in this position. And it's like a lot of people are going to be looking up to you. A lot of people are going to be celebrating you. And this person is big fucking mad. It's like they miss you and they mad at the same time. They see how happy you are and they know for a fact you don't miss their ass. And they tight. This person is tight. This was the ultimate betrayal. And what makes it so bad for them is that you winning in life and you don't give a fuck. That hurts them. It does. It would make them feel better if they knew that you cared or you was mad. You're not mad. You don't give a fuck. You too busy winning. You're like, man, please. Hoes will be hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's your, that's how you feel. What a sound y'all funny as hell. All right. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.